Hello and welcome to Slice of Ace. Sorry if I sound a bit croaky, I have a sore throat, so bear with me. Um, <clears throat> I saw a comment the other day on one of my videos um, about my Ace Ring. And it occurred to me that I hadn't actually spoken about why I wear my Ace Ring. So that's what I'm going to do today. For those of you who don't know about it, the Ace Ring is a black ring, one on the middle finger of the right hand. So the idea for a black ring as a symbol for asexuality originated on the um, Avon forums. Someone asked whether there was a particular symbol of asexuality they could use. And, um, and one of the respondents said that their friend wears a ring on their left middle finger. Their explanation being that the right middle finger means currently single, the right ring finger means currently taken, and the left um, ring finger means taken in a permanent sense. So a logical conclusion they drew from that was that the left middle finger could mean permanently single. Of course this speaks more to aromanticism than asexuality, but that was the starting point in the discussion about the ace ring. But basically is this black black ring, any material, any design, um, it doesn't really matter um, that you wear on your right middle finger. It is worth noting that uh, in some circles uh, swingers wear black rings, so um, you have to be a bit careful of that, but as far as I know they're respectful of the fact that if it's a right middle finger it's more asexuality than swinger community. I'll also link the Avon thread that I've just been talking about in the description below so you can look at that if you are interested. So that's what the Ace Ring is. <laughs> but everyone, it's a symbol of asexual pride and it's a symbol that you are ace. However, because it's not very well known, you won't get people recognising it most of the time. I found out about asexuality about three years ago and shortly afterwards I started identifying as ace. Um, but I didn't know anyone who was ace. So it was easy to fall back into that mindset of I'm the only one who's like this and there's something wrong with me. So I thought, are there any ways I can remind myself that I'm not alone, that there are other people like me? Of course you can go on the internet, you can talk to people, you can hear what people have to say, but if I'm walking, if I'm out and about, I don't really like... It's not convenient and quick and snappy. Um. So I looked for symbols of asexuality that I could use to remind myself and that's when I came across the Ace Ring and I'm quite an introverted person and I don't really like drawing a lot of attention to myself so uh, this idea of just a black ring something which is quite common is it's not exclusive to asexuality if someone's wearing a black ring no one's gonna bat an eyelash so it's kind of this secret invisible symbol of asexuality. The only people who are really going to recognize it are other people in the ace community or people who are supportive of the ace community. But that wasn't really important to me, the recognition, the using it as an <laughs> to help people's ace star, I guess. For me it was more a reminder that I wasn't alone, that there was other people in the world who are like me who don't feel sexual attraction. And I have worn it every day-ish since I got it. There have been, I think there's one day I lost it and I found it again. I got this um, really cheap stainless steel one from Amazon. It only cost about £10, but they don't actually sell it anymore there, as far as I can tell. So it is important for me personally, this symbol of, I do it for myself more than I do it for anyone else, if that makes sense. It's more reassurance that I'm not weird. Any weirder than I am anyway. Although, I do have to admit, it has been recognised a couple of times. One time I was in uh, London with some people and I didn't really know most of them, they were friends of a friend. Um, but uh, one of them uh, came up to me when everyone else was talking and um, asked me what that ring is for, does it mean anything? And I was like, yeah, it's an ace ring. Um, assuming that she wouldn't know. And she was like, yeah, it's amazing. And then we high-fived and everyone else was really confused about what we high-fived about. And we were like, nah, see? 
So there was that. That was really fun. Just kind of another race recognizing you um, because of this symbol. And the second time I was at this LGBT plus meetup and I was talking to this girl, um, just socializing, chatting, and um, she mentioned my ring and said, is that an ace ring? And I was like, yes, yes it is. How do you know? It's supposed to be invisible here. No, um, but it turned out she had um, an asexual friend. She herself identified as a lesbian, but um, she had a friend who was asexual and she'd heard about it through them. So that was another time that it was recognised just randomly. Um, I think I've been really lucky in that sense because I imagine most of the time you won't get it recognised. So I think that was all I had to say today. I did not want to make a really long video because I have to project my voice for these and my throat hurts, so um, I don't want to speak for ages. <laughs> But I, as always, would like to hear from you guys. Did you know about the ace ring? Do you have an ace ring yourself? If you do, why do you wear it? Is it for yourself? Is it so other people recognize you? Have you had someone recognize it? I'm asking too many questions. Just comment something down below or don't, but please do. I have also started a Twitter for Slice of Ace. Um, just in case that is something that people would like. I've never used Twitter before. I'm a bit wary of it because I don't really like social media but um, there is a link for that in the description of this video so if you want to follow me on that you can if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like I post videos every Saturday so if you want to see more then feel free to subscribe that is all I had to say today have a wonderful day and I shall see you next time one on the middle that's swearing I don't know what I'm saying anymore just kind of yabbering on. Okay. That is all I had to say today. Have a wonderful day and I shall see you next time. And I missed out the first half of that.